Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I told you guys that I'll be back. And again, um, remember this, especially as prophets, especially if you're in any type of ministry, God first. That means that sometimes you're not going to be able to follow the structure. Oh, come on, somebody. Let me talk to you for a moment. You have to be about your father's business. You might have something planned and God will say, I need you to go this way. Because God, let me tell you something, God deals with people where they're at. Some people need a word. Some people need to be encouraged. Some people need compassion. Some people need faith. Some people need strength. Hallelujah, I feel the power of God up in here. And so this is pretty much what God told me to tell you. Um, my foundation scripture is going to be from Matthew 14, 22. And um, I'm going to read to 33. And it says, I want to encourage you tonight. The anchor, you, you're the anchor. You will be tested by the storms, and it's called life. I'm telling you right now because this is what God is telling me to tell you all. This is some hard testing, but I beg to differ. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Some of you are saying in the spirit, and I can actually hear it. I'm not kidding. This is the worst it's ever been. I'm about to give you a revelation, and the revelation is this. Don't you understand that God would not allow it if you couldn't go through it? So your revelation should be, my sister, my brother. I am stronger than I ever been. Hallelujah. Yeah, this, I'm going through some stuff. People doing some stuff. I don't understand what's happening, but I'm stronger, hallelujah, than I've ever been. That's the revelation. Because the Bible says clearly that he won't put more on you than you can bear. Oh, I'm going to walk this thing out. Just stay with me. Hallelujah. Matthew 14, 22 to 33. Jesus walks on water. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went on the mountainside by himself to pray. That's why you have to, you really have to get along by yourself. You know, some of you just, y'all love to be around people. In order to be strong, especially in this hour of testing, you're going to have to get off by yourself and pray. You're going to have to fast. You're going to have to do some things. Come on, somebody, let me continue. 20, uh, I'm sorry, I'm still in 23. After he had dismissed him, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone. Notice what I said, 24. And the boat was already a considerable distance from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. Oh, you want, I'm going somewhere, 25. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. There are times where you're going to go through some things that you're going to cry out. You're going to get emotional. You're going to get in fear. You're going to get in doubt. God says that you have to stay focused on him. Tunnel vision in this hour like never before. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to do this for real. You see, no more emotionalism. See, unfortunately, and I have to say it this way, the, the people that are in leadership, we're talking about the famous ones, that's why the church is so weak. Everybody has been going off emotionalism and excitement, entertaining of the flesh. The disciples and the early church, they was built on the rock, hallelujah. They were built to last, honey. That's why they had miracles. Oh, I'm going somewhere, hallelujah. Hold on, hallelujah. Let me continue. And uh, it says that, 27. But Jesus immediately said to them, take courage it is i don't be afraid god's gonna be with you joshua 1 8 i'll be encouraged he said have i not commanded you to be of good courage and i'll be with you even to the end thus said the lord hallelujah hold on then 29 i mean 28 he says lord if it's you peter replied tell me to come to you on the water 29 he said come he said then peter got out of the boat walked on the water and came toward jesus verse 30 but when he saw the wind he was afraid and beginning to sink cried out lord save me 31 immediately jesus reached out his hand and caught him you of little faith he said why did you doubt 32 and when they climbed into the boat the wind died down 33 then those who were with in the boat worship him saying truly you are the son of god praise god that was the word of god let me tell you something tonight saints you got to be so strong oh let me walk this thing out you you're looking at somebody that then been tried and tested let me tell you something i have some notes thank you lord i gotta go with the notes god will never trust you before he tests you have you read that Bible? From Genesis to the New Testament, it was always tests. God is not going to, I'm, that's how I know who's anointed and who's not. You will be tested. 
Most people in the test, they give up, they back up. Don't you understand that God has to test you so you can be approved, so you can be appointed? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let me tell you why a lot of people are falling in this hour, because most people are just preaching for filthy lucre. They're preaching to just have a name, but they can't stand the spiritual warfare. That's why they won't go too deep. You notice I can tackle any subject. I'm not trying to act like I'm all that. I'm not trying to be arrogant. I can stand because I kneel before Jesus in the secret place. I lay down before him in the secret place. I fast in a secret place. Ain't scared of nothing or nobody. How can I do that? I'm not that great. It is by the spirit of God. He said, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord. You're trying to do this without the spirit of God and it cannot be done. Those that worship me must worship me in spirit and truth, says God. Hallelujah. Let me continue. He says, this, oh, I already wrote that. Jesus, um, praise God, I told you about the revelation. Then he said this, praise God, praise God. He wanted me to tell you that you will be tempted in this hour like never before. Oh, but I got, oh, this is this so good. I got to slow down. I love God. Do you understand where temp and temptation? It's not a bad thing, says the Lord. Temp, temptation, I got to have some light on here, you guys. I got to put this light. I'm getting young. All right, so let me tell y'all a thing. I got to slow it down. Did you know that temp and temptation actually came from a military term? Military used by the Greeks and Romans. And what they used to do is when they would put the steel in the fire, their sword, they would beat it. They would beat it. They called the temp, the tempter. Oh, come on, somebody. So this is a term in military. And what they would do is they would beat it, beat it until they can see clearly through the spear or to the sword. But now here's the deal. If it wasn't clear, they would see black spots. And if they see black spots, then that means that it will still have molecules to where it can be broken. Oh, y'all better listen to me up in here. I feel the power of God. I'm going somewhere with this. So they would keep beating it, beating it. Now, let me tell you what they would do to it. They'll put it in a fire. Then they beat it some more, and then they put it in cold water. Oh, y'all better catch this. They'll put it in a the fire. They'll beat it some more and put it in cold water. They did this until all of the black spots were, cut, were gone. And so that proved that the sword had been tempted because now it wouldn't break in battle. Mm, mm. Y'all better get what I'm saying. Don't you understand that you're being tested through the fire and beaten and then God put cool you off and then they do the process again because he want to make sure that you don't break, that you don't break, that you don't break, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Because guess what? We're in a battle, soldier. And if you weak, you're going to get beat. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of God up in here. Isn't it the same thing that God is doing us? And the Bible says that he won't allow testing beyond what you can stand. So sister, my brother, if you are going through, that means that God said, I, have, you, have you considered my servant? Oh, let me take this light off of here. Let me tell you something what God said to me. Hallelujah, I feel the power of God. He said, Deanna, tell my people that they don't understand. That just like Job was tested, the enemy comes to him and says, oh, look at this one, look at that one. And God says, have you not considered my servant, Deanna? And he said, go ahead, test her, but touch not her life. Oh, come on somebody and there are some times that you will hit you to the core of your spirit you'll cry you'll get mad you'll get emotional you'll get angry you'll get bitter you want to stop oh come on somebody hallelujah and God says that it is only a test oh come on somebody you remember when they used to come on the TV and they still do it from time to time when they say this is a broadcasting interruption this is only a test oh come on somebody hallelujah 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 you're going through a test but God is just like they, they beat they beat that sword. And, and notice, it, it had to be clear. Because guess what? If they can see clear through it, then it wouldn't break in battle. Don't you understand that if you're going through some testing that's sending you to you the core of your spirit, that God is looking at you and saying, nah, you're not like me yet. A little bit more testing. I, I, I know it hurts. I know they loved you. I know you feel alone. I know you feel like committing suicide. Oh, I'm going for the real ones tonight. I, I, I know you feel like giving up. I know you feel like throwing in the towel. I know, I know, I know. But guess what? It's not to hurt you. It's to build you. Oh, come on, somebody. I won't let the enemy break you, but I will use him to build you. Oh, come on, somebody. That's why Romans 8, 28 is so good. Oh, come on, somebody. He says the good and the bad work together for those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Oh, can I tell you something? 
something, it's going to get hard. It's going to get hard. It's going to get hard. But don't you know that God is with you? He'll never leave it forsake you. I'm telling you what he told me to tell you. Hallelujah. There are times I can't tell you. They get hard. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Sometimes you are all by yourself. And truth be told, when you have a heavy anointing, you are by yourself at certain times. Because God wants to know that I'm God. And I'm going to serve you. And I'm going to keep you. And I'm going to be you. And I'll build you. And I'm going to lead you. And I'm going to guide you in the way that you should go. Because if you get really connected with people, you'll be doing what people want you to do. And then they think they saved you. But God, come on somebody, you won't have a test because you won't have a testimony. So you have to go through a test in order to have a testimony. I feel the power of God up in here. So don't despise the test, God says. And, and, and I'm a living witness. Y'all yeah, know the ones that's truly been following me. You know I didn't been through up, down, round. Or, I don't know how I'm still here. But by God. That's why I laugh at the enemy. <laughs> And even if, and, and, and I'm going here, even when I get weak sometimes, and I do, don't get it twisted. I cry sometimes. I feel everything y'all feel, so don't get it twisted. But by God, I'm telling you, you know how he said joy coming in the morning. Oh, hallelujah. Can I testify? I've been going through. Oh, Lord, y'all have no idea. But I tell you, I heard him speak clearly this morning. He said, Deanna, I am with you like I was always. I will be still with you. Ah, you got to go through this because this is not about you. I'm going to tell you all my testimony. He said, let me tell you what the enemy is doing in this hour to you. He's trying to stop you. He's trying to back you up because he knows if you drop your assignment, everybody connected you to you going to fall. He said, so it's not about you. You got to keep going. You got to be strong. Oh, it don't matter who leave you, who stay, who talk about you, who lie on you, whatever they do. He says, no, I I will be with you, Lord, always. Be encouraged. And everybody going to rock with you. And everybody going to roll with you. And to be honest with you, you don't want them to. Because I'm going to be honest with you. Anybody, everybody ain't your friend that say they're your friend. They'll be in your face, lying at the same time, plotting, planning. And get mad at you. <laughs> Ooh, I feel the power of God. Let me get up out of here. Let me get up out of here. Y'all better be encouraged. This is a war. It's a spiritual war. And yes, the enemy is after your soul. He is not playing. This is not the time to play my brother, my sister. This is not the time to hate each other. This is not the time to give in. This is not time to be a gossiper. This is not the time to do all that negative stuff. This is praying time. If you don't see what they're doing, let me tell y'all something. I've been telling y'all martial law coming. I've been telling y'all. Y'all don't see what they're doing in California. Can I tell you something? I learned more about every other state when I moved to California. I lived in California 15 years. Then God said, leave. I left in 2015. Let me tell y'all something what I learned. All laws that are passed are first passed in California. Then it, it ripples the country. Y'all ain't ready. Everything that happens in California, you can wait for it to happen. Y'all really don't understand? These are test runs. These people are not playing. I, I bet you, I, I can tell you, I, of course I haven't been in every city and every state, but I bet you there's construction in every city and every state, huh? They, they're doing something with the roads, huh? Well, I mean, long time. You're like, when they going to fix that road? When they going to do this? If you don't understand that they are making stops, everything is going to be, this is going to be a communist country where you're going to have to have the chip. We won't be able to buy without the chip. I'm telling you what's getting ready to happen, and only God, and you, you can pray, you can fast, you can call on God, A lot of, and I, and I got to kill this one. Oh, y'all not going to like this one. I got to kill it. Well, are we going to get snatched up, and you know, just the, the rapture is going to happen? Let me ask you just one question. I'm going to let you answer this question. If God take us all up, then who going to witness to the rest that's left? I know you don't like it. Y'all be surprised I lost friends because that's, I'm telling you what God told me. Ain't everybody going. It's not that you, you know, I don't know what them fake movies be telling y'all. If God take all his children, who going to witness to the sinners? Hmm? Yeah. Y'all better understand what time it is. It's, t it's time to be real. We read that Bible. Now we live in that Bible. Hallelujah! I feel the power of God up in here. So I just pray for y'all to have strength, courage in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray that you don't fold. I pray that you don't, you know, don't be a plan against your brother and sister. Don't love money. I'm telling you, don't be a Judas in this hour. You saw what happened to Judas. And, and it will happen to anybody that does it. That said the Lord. I'm telling you what God say. I, I know we got things we got to do, but don't ever be a Judas, said the Lord. I'm telling you what God said. 
Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon, a word of encouragement for the people of God, by God, and from God. Praise God. Now, hold on. When I say by God, I'm talking about like he's just using me because I want people to say, well, she called herself God. You know, you got to watch everything these days because y'all be trained. I mean, I love it, though, because we're supposed to be watchful and listen to everything. So I had to clarify that, but y'all just be strong. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll lot soldiers for that is who we are. Uh, what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm 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 that apostle. <laughs> God bless y'all. Y'all know I gotta stay on one. Y'all know how much warfare I go through. I better be half crazy. Them demons ain't playing, <laughs> and neither am I. God bless.